what is up zero game my name is Zero vlogs i said it so fast my name is casco zero vlogs and today we are going to be watching and reacting to this uh shell employee literally gets robbed by black kids with no exaggeration it's actually children maybe young teens 13 14 at best but there's actually ch children robbing this woman and uh man i just feel so like like so uh, disappointed you know just very very disappointed because you know you can blame the kids but at the same time it's really the parents fault because the parents don't instill rules and you know like they're being recorded everything's being recorded and they still rob this lady so we're going to be getting into this video if you guys are, are new to the channel make sure you guys like subscribe and comment help me get my video out there in this jungle that we call YouTube. Without further ado, we're gonna be watching this video. I'm gonna give you guys my honest thoughts like I always do at the end of the video, but it's, it's sad, man. It's all black kids, too. That's the worst part. It's just, puts a bad taste in your mouth, man. Especially with me being black and whatnot. I'm just like, why does it always have to be a bunch of black people robbing people and doing a bunch of bad stuff? You know, why, why can't it be like something constructive when I see black people do something? But it's always this. This is the thing that the majority of black people do, but let me stop rambling. Let's watch this video. I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts at the end. That looks like a 13 year old. That's. They're young. No! You get out now! No! <laughs> Yo. Y'all don't even try to laugh. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She did tell him to get out. In his defense, she did tell him to get out, alright? She did tell him to get out, but she wouldn't let him out. But in all seriousness, obviously, she's just in the heat of the moment. I feel bad for her. She was in the heat of the moment. She seems to be the only employee there. And it's late at night. They totally took advantage of this kid. Look at the way his pants are sagging. You know, his his pants literally looks like a yellow starburst. He got his butt hanging out, man. These are just some ghetto kids right here, man. I feel so bad for this chick. I gotta see this this again, dude. So look at these young kids. Look how young they are. Let's look at how young they are, you know? She's not in the best shape either. So, you know, her running around doing all this stuff is a lot of work for her. So, uh, so she's trying to grab the kid by his head. Wait, that's a little girl right there in the red. That's a that's a little girl right there in the red. That is a little girl. That has to be an eight year old or like a seven year old or something. Hold up. Oh, oh, the little girl got hit in the face, bro. No, do you guys see that? Look, hold up. The little girl got hit in the face. Look, look, look right here. Oh, oh, in her mouth. That was so bad for that little girl. There's so much happening in the beginning. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Big boy gets runs out. He's still. What do he? What do he have in his hand? What did he have in his hand? Oh, she is calling him all types of bees and stuff. Hold up, what did he have in his hand though? Oh, little girl, I feel so bad for little girl. Yeah, I can't see what he had in his hand, but he definitely stole something. I don't know if that little girl was involved or not, but yeah, she was involved. Wait, the one, wait, 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 wait. there's so much stuff happening at the beginning of this video. Wait, the one in the hoodie, he stole something too, clearly when he ran out. Hold up, so there was three thieves that ran out the door right there. That dude right there in the blue, he stole something too. Hold up, hold up, hold up. There's so much going on. Hold up, let's see here. Yeah, he got out there too. She got her cell phone in her hand. He like, you ain't gonna do nothing to me. He the oldest one, he probably orchestrated it. We pushed her out of the way, he fell on the ground. I look, you can tell when they're young, you can just tell like, kids know right from wrong. Cause if that girl is involved, look at the way she was looking. She knew she, she knew that was wrong. Look at the way she was looking. Look, 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 look at the little girl. Look at the little girl. She knew it was wrong. She's feeling bad about it. They're laughing, dude. They're laughing. Hold on. I'm sorry I keep stopping. There's just so much going on. They're laughing? They're laughing, dude. They're laughing at this woman. Those ghetto laughs, too. Ha <laughs> ha! She had enough. She giving out free sodas. Oh, okay. So you see right there, the little girl felt bad. You saw her face when she was looking. The little girl felt bad at first. But you can just tell everybody else was laughing. Everyone was like, uh, ha, ha, ha. You know, probably because she's white or what? I think really because she's white. Because black are the most R word you will ever meet in your entire life. It's because they're taught that from when they're young. Um, to you know, feel like a victim and to, and to be the R word. That's that's. That's what they're taught. So I can't really blame the children. I really blame the parents. But you can see the little girl, her conscience is like, this, this is effed up. This is messed up right here. The little girl was looking. And then she sees all the adults, you know, probably with her brothers or whoever. She's around, she's older than her, laughing and making fun of the chick. Then she's doing that. <laughs> you gotta laugh too. You can always tell 
when a person's ghetto, like a girl's ghetto, tell you, <laughs> like they're coughing. They laugh like Dr. Vinskanovich, you know? So let's see it again. Hold up. No, this place is fun. Look at look at this. Yup. That is sad, dude. Did someone say y'all wrong for that? Hold up. Yeah, he did say y'all wrong for that. What's up with all the hollering? Y'all hear that? Whoa! Hold up, whoa! Alright, alright, I think we got enough right there. Wow, that was, ooh, ha -ha. like a bunch of, you know what's around the jungle, dude. Whoa, like, there's a lot of stuff I want to say, but I'm going to get demonetized if I say those words. So, I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts about this whole insane situation. I feel so bad for this woman. She doesn't get paid enough for this. I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts. This chick, I don't blame her. I mean, they're, you know, they're not being, the kids probably wouldn't be very discreet about stealing, you know. They probably laugh and tell her to shut the f up. It's just taking stuff, you know. It's very disrespectful. So I do understand why she did it, but at the same time, I, I, I used to be that way. I used to be that way. Like they still, from my stories, take pride in my work. I really, really did back then. When they used to like, if I saw, saw someone stealing, I remember I used to work at uh, GameStop, but I was like, I saw somebody stealing, I would jump on it like, we about to fight. You know, I'm about to steal from my store. You know, I was really, I was really into my job. When I had a job, I was like really committed. You know, um, until I realized that they don't really care about you. You know, places don't care about you. It's all about numbers. Um, you know, you, you mess up two times, you might lose your job, right? So I, I get where she's coming from. I understand why she, you know, put herself in that situation. Um, but you know, I, I doubt she'll ever watch this. But if she ever does watch this, I hope that she knows that this isn't worth it. Like they don't care enough about you. This is not like. This is not like the job, especially a gas station job, it is not the job to really put your life on the line like that. If that kid was more uh, more ghetto or it was a man, he would have got beaten the crap out of her. If it was a, you know, a man that had less morals, so to speak, that woman could have got this not beaten out of her. And they all would have been laughing at her and be like, that was for 400 years of you know what? That's what they would have done to her, you know what I mean? They don't, they don't care, like, they, they don't care, especially when it comes to a white person, they don't care. They don't care, you know? So I really understand where she's coming from, but hopefully she learns from this, man. I feel really bad for this chick. She has so much pride, and you can just hear in her voice that she was so distressed and bothered by these hooligans. Um, and people were just laughing at her, you know? I just feel so bad for this chick, dude. I really, really do. And they want to say, you know, BLM and all this stuff, but this is what they do, man. This is what the majority of them do. Now, all of them don't do this, obviously, but this is what the majority of them do. When other races see us, this is what they see online. This is what goes viral. This is what the, you know, that hits the headlines. This is what the majority of people see. So then they want to say, you know, BLM, that you know, their lives matter, their lives matter and stuff like that. You like coming from the outside from a different race or just just not being, you know, black or not understanding black culture, etc. They're gonna be like, but this is what they do. Why do they matter? Why? So they can rob convenience stores? So they can rob a, a Shell gas station out of all places? A Shell gas station? So they can loot again? You know what I mean? That's, that's how they see us, man. That's how they see us. I'm not saying all of them, but I'm saying when they don't ever have any black friends, they don't have any black people around them, and all they see is this online, this is what makes people afraid of black people. This is why the whole concept came from locking your doors and you know being afraid of them, because this is how they act. Like, if you get a bunch of them, this is not a racial thing, I'm just using it as a comparison because the thing that is most comparable to us are monkeys. They share like 98% of our DNA. So I'm using using this as an example. They're amongst the smartest mammals like on Earth. So you get a bunch of just a group, you know, like a, a, a tribal group of just monkeys or apes or something like that and you just threw them in the store, I promise you they act the same way. I don't mean that in a racial way. I really don't. I don't mean that in any like derogatory, uh, you know, degrading manner. I just mean the actions only. It could be any race. I'm just saying what they did was exactly if you get some wild monkeys, a tribal group of monkeys or apes, and just throw them in the store, they will be throwing stuff, knocking stuff out of the way. They're gonna be doing all that stuff they just did there. So what is the difference from when it comes to people that don't understand or uh, racially insensitive people and they see this? What is the difference? We have to. You know show the example we have to be the example we have to take it upon ourselves 
to be the example, right? Like when people see me, they're always nice to me. They're always laid back to me. You know why? Because I don't have that aura. I don't have that angry, mm, I'm mad because I'm black. I got problems. I'm a victim. Why people got to bed with me? I don't feel none of that way. So that aura doesn't come from me. I, I've met multiple people that, even on my ride share, I met multiple people that just didn't understand black people. I met a guy that was afraid of black people. He was like, you're the only black person I've ever met that hasn't been hostile towards towards me. He lived in like a really ghetto neighborhood. Um, he, and he moved there to go see his kid or something like that. I forgot the whole story, but he moved there to go see his kid and he wasn't used to like, you know, ghetto areas. So black people, I'm, black people just always, you know, just, just mean to him, he said. And even when I picked this dude up, right? When I picked this dude up, I just saw black people just hassling him. When I picked him up, I was like, you know those guys? Like, no. He's like, I think they were trying to rob me. Like, his whole persona, his whole ideal of just black people was just negative. And they didn't give him a reason not to have that perspective because that's all he got. He got mistreated by them. He sees the stuff online. He lives in a ghetto area. He was a target because he's white. That's what they see. And he was like, dude, he was just so surprised. He had no idea a black person can be like myself. And I'm not saying I'm like the only white person that's like this. There's other white people, but the majority are like what you see in the video. And I think it's upon, you know, we should take the responsibility, black people that, you know, have common sense to be that example, you know? Like, that's why I don't, I'm not one of those mad type of dudes. That's why, you know, I try to show the example that I'm like, you know, a success story, so to speak. You know, I put hard work into what I do, whether it's, you know, online, in person, a job, etc., and I get stuff done because I apply myself. I'm not making myself a victim. I'm not saying, oh man, the reason I got fired from that job is because I'm black. You know, the reason I got fired from that job is because I didn't apply myself more. A nincompoop, I didn't do my job correctly. That's why I got fired from the job. And if you hold yourself responsible for your own actions, you will learn that it isn't really that bad being a black person. It isn't bad at all. It's no different from the, being any other race. There is no no BS they're trying to feed you. And this is where the whole thing comes from. They feel like, oh, I deserve this. I'm still in this store. Like, imagine this, right? Him stealing, those kids stealing and doing what they did now is going to affect them way later down in life. Because they're going to see that they did this. They're going to say, oh, misdemeanor. Or it could even be a criminal charge, depending on what they stole, you know? They're going to see this is going to affect them. And now they have an already a messed up start on life because they did some petty theft. You guys get what I'm saying? You have to be responsible for your own actions and you have to make good choices. That's all you have to do as a black person. And I promise you, I promise you, you can succeed as a black person. This whole thing just makes everyone look bad. Even myself, even myself. I think very highly of myself. I wanna make sure that's very, very clear. I think very highly of myself, but I am, you know, in reality to realize that a person that's from the outside, they're gonna say, oh, that's a black guy, right? He's different, but he's still a black guy, you know? Um, and it's just, I just feel like we all have to do better, man. We really, really do. The people that's laughing, stuff like that, they should have done something. Um, you know, the whole concept is just bad. At least one dude did was like, y'all wrong for that. I, I, whoever that guy was, shout outs to him, man. At least he was like, hey, he's the only person with common sense. Cause everyone was laughing. People that didn't even know what was going on out there. Some big lady was laughing out there. Everything was going on and everyone was just making it out of a joke when it was not a joke. This whole thing messes up those kids' lives and it's going to haunt them for the rest of their life. This is a bigger problem than what it really, really seems, but I feel like I'm ranting at this point. I don't want this to be a rant video, but stuff like this, I just feel so like, ugh about, because it's such common sense, you know? Like, stop being your own problem, make good choices, and you have a bunch of kids raising kids. You have mothers not caring about the kids and just letting them raise themselves, practically. Mothers think, you know, single mothers think that, oh, I just put food down for them and send them to school. My job is done as a parent. Being a parent is way more complicated than that. And I don't even have any kids and I know this myself. And this is why those kids are doing this because they're looking for validation. They feel angry. You know, like, I can't really blame them. Obviously they did do it and they should, you know, uh, wreak repercussions for it. But I can't just be like, oh, it's a kid's fault. No, it's the parent's fault. Because if I had a kid and I saw him doing this, I would, I would wring his neck. If I have my kid, he's going to have to fill my shoes, which are already gonna be really big to begin with. I'm gonna accomplish a lot in my life. So my son is gonna have a very, very hard time doing better than what I have done. So if I saw him doing some stuff like this, oh my God, that kid's gonna wanna run, run away from home. I don't mean like abuse, I just mean like discipline, real discipline, not even physical discipline, but just nothing. He's not gonna have a life, period. I will send that kid to boot camp, okay? You do something like this, it is done. He's going to know that. So the cross of stealing something is gonna be like, oh my God, I don't wanna steal nothing. Cause I know how my dad or my mother is gonna react to this. This kid knows that his parents don't care. They probably might even give him a reward for doing something like this. 
but it just comes down to the parents. If you have strict parents, you know, they're not going, your, your kid is not gonna be like, oh, let me, let me do this. When I was a kid, I wasn't thinking about stealing stuff. I was trying to play video games. You guys get what I'm saying? It depends on how you raise your kid. And sometimes you do have a bad apple, but at the end of the day, they won't be so bold about it. You know, you do have a bad apple as a kid, but at the end of the day, you can mold your kid how you want your kid to be. And whoever this kid's parents are, they motivate their kid to be a thief. So at the end of the day, it's the parents' fault. But those are my final thoughts on it. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it's a bigger problem than this? Do you guys think the kids are just, just ghetto kids? Or do you guys think the parents are the problem? Tell me what you guys think of this whole situation. I wanna know in the comments below. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. Help me get my video out there in this ooh, jungle that we call YouTube. Without further ado, that's gonna be it for the video. And remember, I'm not arrogant, I'm just confident. And thank you for watching.